Hey guys, it is uh, Saturday, uh, April the 3rd, I think, or April 2nd, um, and this is Kyle, or Vulcan Wolverine, again, um, and I'm just driving around right now, I don't really have anything to do today, getting uh, attacked pretty heavily, um, uh, the, uh, the grounding blanket's working pretty good, and it also kind of stays with you, um, during the day, so grounding is, is helping a lot, uh, still the V2K is, uh, you know, treacherous, um, you know, they're, they're now just saying, they're like, you know, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna kill him, you know, uh, he's evil, we're gonna kill him, um, I kind of got into a place with a good, uh, like, this is kind of a good light. It's a very busy light, so if, if there is vehicular stalking, you know, I can kind of turn to it. But, um, I've been doing a lot of videos on vehicular stalking. Uh, you know, it's pretty big all the time for me. Um, but I wanted to make a video where I kind of just showed y'all my face again and just kind of talked about it because I've been having kind of a rough time. Very tired, and it just keeps going on you know, whatever, if they automate it, or if they're sitting around it, you know, the weekends are really bad, because, like, it seems like, uh, my torturers, they see it as kind of entertainment, you know, they'll invite people over, and, uh, like, people are definitely, uh, vehicularly stalking me at my place, I think a lot of people don't live there that do it, they, they know the code, so they get in, and then they they kind of stalk me like when I come out. But a lot of people who live around me also uh, vehicular stalk me. Um, I just I like I saw one person going out the other day at the same time, uh, and I, you know I, they had one light on or whatever, and it was like a person who lived like right by me, like about four four townhouses down, and uh, I just. You know, I just followed him. I wasn't going to do anything. There's a city police right there. I just saw a sheriff cross here. There's going to be a lot of vehicular stalking coming through this major section right here. Um, now I'll kind of try and turn the camera and get some of it. But I, I did want to make a different, a new video, um, you know, besides just uh, vehicular stalking. Because I've been doing a lot of that. Um, but... Uh, Things, yeah, things aren't going too well because you just get tired of the torture and it's just, it drags on and, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's like hell. It's like living in hell. Uh, some things help, you know, I wanted to show you all this. This is the, uh, Aurum Metallica right here. Um, Aurum Metallica and it's like these little things you just kind of let dissolve under your tongue, um. Magnus Olsen said they are really good, and I mean, I think they, I think it's been helping. Um, it's not, it's not as marked um, as the, um, you know, as the grounding, uh, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to just keep doing it, um, you know, and, and see, you know, just kind of, kind of do everything I can to, to stop any of this that I can. Um, and, I mean, they're not hitting me too bad. They hit me and it kind of buffers out because the grounding. Uh, they do get me in my sleep still. A lot of directed dreams. Uh, one night I didn't, uh, like, I left my grounding blanket downstairs. And uh, went, I accidentally fell asleep upstairs without it. And, uh, you know, I had a lot of, a lot of directed dreaming. And it was very bizarre and just like, you know, like we all know, it's like mind rape. Um you know, and just, they, they did, I felt worse, I felt like more heated inside when I woke up, and not as much energy, so the grounding blanket's been kind of proven to me, my next step, uh, you know, like I've said to y'all a million times, is the, the magnets, to try and do some magnet therapy, because I think even if I don't have something inside of my system, like a, a chip or something like that, it's a, it's a therapy that kind of sticks with you, um, and that also works with a, with a lot of the, the other stuff that I use. Um, you know, if you can buffer this stuff and get it off of you, it's like a therapy that kind of sticks with you. Um, not really thinking real well. Uh, memory's bad. Uh, emotional, uh, like angry. Uh, I'm, I'm very angry, but it's not because of the situation. You know, they remote neural monitor me pretty hard. 
and he keeps coming from kind of different angles. Um, so now he's like, he's really, he's amping up, I guess, um, like, uh, kind of my emotions, like, like making me angry, making me, you know, want to, want to react, want to yell, yell at him and stuff like that, because he realizes that, I mean, I'm sitting here and I'm like, you know, this is going to come to an end soon. Um, you know, so many people are speaking out. So much awareness is getting out there. So many initiatives. These people, you know, instead of just stopping, uh, which I think would be a smart thing to maybe get in front of it and just stop, you know, just stop doing it. Uh, you know, they want to go ahead and finish it. They want to go ahead and finish theirs before this program kind of wraps up. Um, but, I mean, it's still a long road. I mean, I, I just, I see a long road that, you know, we can get awareness out and we can slow it down. Um, but I don't know, like, I'm hoping the people who rolled this out, like the DOD, the military industrial complex, will get in front of it, will know it's going to end, and start just kind of getting patsies. You know, these people who have who've taken this military ordinance, these directed energy weapons, and the remote ways to hit us with them and maybe, maybe kind of uh, turn on them. Uh, and make them the patsies that have to go down. I really hope so. Uh, I want these people to have justice for what they've done to me, my family, and to other families um, that I hear about. Um, I try, you know, I'm trying to keep hopeful. Like, I don't, I mean, I'm trying to keep hopeful and keep a sense of humor, uh, but mind control and, you know, cooking bodies and you know, it's like a lot of people are dying, and then you see the one light -like cars driving around with the sunglasses. They have sunglasses on, hiding their faces. They don't study anything. They don't know anything, and they're, you know, supporting this program. Um, it's it's really hard to keep your humor. It's hard to, to keep hope up. I have to constantly, um, you know, do things like, uh, you know, you know, watch inspirational videos. Um, you know just things that inspire me. I have to keep it up and, uh, you know, keep pumping myself up to keep going. I'm um, talking to a lot of other TIs who are experiencing, like, their neighbors harassing them and, you know, uh, people getting, you know, people get new cars for getting involved in this. So, you know, our society is so sick and turned upside down that people are, you know, getting rewarded for doing, you know, satanic stuff. And I will call this stuff satanic uh, till the day I die. It's uh, horribly satanic. Um, you know, I think I think that my main organizer, you know, he's very satanic. He's a satanic cold person. Um, I, I, I think, and I know, like, talking about what these people are or what they believe really isn't productive. We just need to stop them. Uh, they're really evil, uh, deceptive. Uh, they want to spread deceit. They want to spread death. They want to spread fear, uh, and they think that's somehow going to magically control and make things peaceful when it's the complete opposite, which I hate them for. I hate them. Um, I'm working on that, and through God, I try and, like, forgive them, but at this point, that you know, they've murdered, you know, they, they've hurt my dad, they've hurt my family, you know, they're basically attacking the charity uh, that we work for, um, you know, messing with the computers all in there, and it's it's like, I, at this point, it's like, I don't really care about forgiving them, I want to uh, just stop them from, from hurting innocent people, uh, and I understand, like, you know, Christian's comment, please help me, <laughs> you know, please help me, and God help me, God help me, because uh, I'm so angry, I don't care about forgiving them, I don't care about making peace with them, uh, they're murderers, I want to stop them, I care more about the innocent people that they're hurting, so please, Christian's comment, um, you know, there's a, a lady on Facebook that I know, and she's constantly, you know, praying, and, you know, I always like those comments, and I want to kind of post them on my timeline, get them on my timeline, because, you know, I need that, um, at the beginning of this, I was a lot more soft-hearted, um, you know, sending out prayers. I mean, I'm still a Christian. I still believe in God. Um, still believe in Jesus Christ. I believe their their you know their hands are on me, but I just I care more about the innocent lives. I, it's not important for me to uh, to somehow you know forgive these people or whatever. I just want them stopped. I don't think they have something. I, I think they're not like normal human beings where they they really don't care. They're cold blooded and they don't have morality. 
So, like, forgiveness, they'd laugh at that. Um, you know, I, I think God's going to have to deal with that um, because I don't understand the whole... I just don't understand the, the paradigm in which they live. Um, they're not empathetic. They don't care about human life. They, they think... I mean, this guy is, like, constantly saying on V2K, he has to do this. And they never talk to me. They never talk directly to me because of my protocol. Like, I, I talk directly to them sometimes. Um, and I say some mean stuff because I do not like them. I don't like them at all. Uh, don't respect them. Don't even see them as... I mean, I don't even see them as men and women, the people who are doing this to me, so I'm not going to see them as uh, authority figures uh, to respect. Definitely. That's not going to happen. I mean, it's just people who got their hands on military ordinance illegally, and they're criminally, like, hurting everybody. Um, so, and I know it goes deeper. There's a lot of things that these agencies have done... Uh, to kind of make things seem like they're new rules and laws and it's real corruption and, you know, just kind of, there's so much money involved and, you know, the mo the government's funneling money into the DOD and the Air Force and these all these armed forces are getting money to participate uh, a lot. And it's, you know, I heard uh, from from one site, it was something like, they, they, they pick a lot of ex-military, and the guy who's my main organizer is ex-military, because it kind of uh, gives them some plausible deniability. They probably won't pick a lot of people who are uh, present military, because then that's kind of, that's more connected to the government. So through, like, private contractors, they get these mercenary ex-military guys to do this stuff. So they separate, the government separates itself from it. Um, you know, they've learned how to kind of, uh, to, to make little loopholes to experiment and murder, uh, innocent Americans, um, which is, is enraging, uh, it's enraging, but there is, I mean, there's good stuff, I just, I'm tired of living this life, I'm, I'm not tired of living this life, I'm not gonna end it or anything, but I'm tired of being tortured all the time. Like, I feel like I need to do something, like I either need to move or I need to, you know, get out. I need to do some activism. I've got to find some people in my state uh, to get with and, you know, keep working on the uh, the Audio Spotlight Initiative. And I think we've raised like $40 so far. Um, there is there is some cheaper equipment, so uh, if we could get like maybe a used one of those two thousand dollar ones used, we might be able to get something for like five hundred dollars. Um, but please, you know, please donate uh, to that PayPal thing so we can maybe start showing some people how this works. Um, you know, and tons of people. There's there's a Saturday night call uh, tonight. I don't know if I'll get this video up uh, before the call. But get on the conference calls. I still need to post those on my YouTube page. I'm just going to post them all. Um, you know, and just keep trucking along. I just need to make a video because, you know, not doing... I mean, it's like I'm doing okay. They're not really hurting me that bad. But it's so long. It's just been so long. It's wearing me out. Uh, I'm not the same person I was. You know, I, and I watched... Um, you know, I, I watched a, a, a nice lady's video, and I really respect her. She really talks about this kind of just truthfully. And, um, you know, she was talking about, like, she doesn't even know if she'll be able to love again. Um, it's, it's those feelings. It's like it changes us so much because it's so much deceit on top of deceit. And there's people, like, that you don't even know who, who might be co-opted into this uh you know, by lies or by money or whatever, and it's it's very hard to trust again. And you know, I I found myself probably uh, you know being paranoid about people I shouldn't be, um, but that's kind of the name of the game. I mean, that's how you know this works and works on us. Um, you know, I was just saying the other day, paranoid. Being paranoid is just knowing the truth. Um, and I don't want to. I don't want to feel like that anymore. And I don't want this country to be like that anymore. Um, I want to fight it with everything I have. I can't live in a country like that. And I know all of y'all can't either. Um, where it's just all deceit. You don't know who to trust. And 
everybody's just kind of a manipulative sociopath, you know, just trying to get materials and goods 